The hinge on the Mantis Pro SE is made to endure long journeys and varied terrain. However, what happens if it cracks or breaks? Today at Voro Motors, we will teach you how to replace the hinge on the Mantis Pro SE. The tools you will need are two Allen key sets, an 8mm Allen key, an 18mm socket wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a heat gun. We start by unlocking the quick release lock at the bottom of the stem, sliding it up and letting the stem descend towards the deck. We can now get a clearer look at the hinge. This unit is fine, but for demonstration purposes, let's assume it needs to be replaced. Let's first remove the stem. To do this, we use the 4mm Allen keys to unscrew the pair of screws holding the stem to the hinge. After unscrewing one side, slide the Allen key in the slot and push the other side through. Lift the stem up now and gently place it along the footboard. Next, we remove the front tire, unscrew and remove the front fender, then using 6mm Allen keys, hold one screw in place while you unscrew the other side. This distances the swing arms from each other and eases the process of removing the tire. Now using the 18mm socket wrench, unscrew the bolts from either side and slide the tire out. For now we can let it rest against the swing arm or lay it on a nearby surface. Taking your 8mm Allen key, unscrew the stem bolt completely. We can now focus on removing the hinge. We start by removing the 5 screws holding it in place using a 2mm allen key for the 4 smaller screws and a 3mm for this one here. There is adhesive inside keeping the hinge in place, so we will use our heat gun to loosen everything. This will take around 2 minutes. With the adhesive now loose, we can force the hinge upwards and out. This will require some force, so don't be shy. Be careful not to misplace the small cylinder inside the hinge. With this hinge removed, we can place on the new one and start putting everything back together. Line up the cylinder sticking out of the sides of the hinge with the slot and slide it in. Thread all the screws back in as they were initially. Connect the stem again, and once everything is firm, screw the stem bolt back in place. Take the tire, and being careful that the motor wire is facing the deck like so, slide it back into place. These metal hooks should clamp into slots, allowing for easy tightening with the 18mm socket wrench. Once the tire is in place, you can put the cover back on. Take the stem, fold it back upright, lock it, and check that the front tire is on correctly. Once you've checked everything is working, it's time to take your Mantis Pro SE for a spin. 